Right, this is a lecture on the one step binomial model and it's on mathematical finance. It follows on from the arbitrage video I did and it's on risk and return when making investments. Right now, first off, the one step binomial model this is where a stock value at time one uh, it can have two values. It can have an upper value, SU, or a lower value, SD. So it's up and down depending how the stock goes. Now, I probably should have put this in the last video, but if the bond price that you have, so you have bonds, so you have stocks as S and bonds as A at time one, because they start at zero at time one, uh, if that is between SD and SU, then there is no arbitrage opportunity. If it is not, say it could be out here, SD could be bigger than it, SU could be less than it, then there will be an arbitrage, well, there might be an arbitrage opportunity. Right now, if you want to calculate the expected return, so this is how much you expect to make on this kind of scenario, then we have E for the expectation, K lowercase s. We've got a lower s here for stock. You can also have it V for the total investment, for the wealth. And this is equal to K s upper and this KS upper is equal to uh, S, the S upper minus the S original divided by the S original. And this KS is the, the new stock price minus the old stock price divided by the old stock price. So we're finding the expected of this value here. And this is the KUS uh, times the P, times the P here, and then plus K. DS, so we've got the lower value of DS, so this will be SD minus S0 over S0 times the 1 minus P times the other probability here. Now the risk, uh, this is just working out well what, what the chances are. It's the square root of the expected value of, this is quite a, a big thing here, KS minus the expected value of KS or squared. So you might have seen that before, this is just a standard deviation. But then this can expand to be a bit easier to calculate as the square root of KUS minus the expected value of KS, uh, all, of, all of this squared times the P plus KSD, the down part minus expectation of KS or that squared minus one times one minus P. Right, so we're going to go straight to an example using some of this stuff. So we've got our scenario here. We've got the bond price that starts at 100, our stock price starts at 80, and the bond price goes up to 110. And the stock price, this can either go from 80 to 100 with a probability of 0.4, or down to 70 with a probability of 0.6. Now we can see that this A1, this A110, is outside of it, so you can get an arbitrage opportunity, but that's not what we're asking because it's not between these two values. So, we want to find the expected return and the risk when we invest £10,000 split equally between the stock and bonds. So, we're going to put £5,000 in the stock and the bonds. So, we've got 10000 this is the X, this is the number of stocks we buy times 80 plus the number of bonds we buy times 100. We can easily see that this one here, this is going to be 50, because we're given 5,000 to each, and the number of stocks is 62.5. Right now, what we want to do now is we want to calculate uh, this new thing up here, this S1, SU, and SD. So we want to see, we want to use this, these values here to change this because we're going to use the wealth because before we had just stock and now we've got the bonds included so it doesn't go up to say if you just ignore this it wouldn't go up to just these values we've got to include the bonds as well so we've got 50 times 110 plus 100 times 62.5 is 11,750 with the probability 0.4 Again, down here, 9,875, with probability 
Now, this is this is quite nice. So this is, these are these are the amounts that you're going to make. So you'll either make this much or this much with your initial investment of ten thousand. Now, what we want to do is we want to put, use this as a percentage. So we want to see what the percentage increase is. So for that, we use the KS form uh, KS formula, which was the new value minus the old value divided by the old value. So we'll have uh, 11,750 minus 10,000, because that's what we started with, divided by 10,000, and the same for here as well. So it'll either increase by 0.1275 with probability 0.4, or decrease by 0.0125 with the probability 0.6. Now what we can do is we can put this in our formula for the expected return, so expected of KV, which is the upper times probability times the lower times that probability. So that's nice and easy, which gives us 0 0.0625, which is 6.25%. So you're expected to make a profit of 6.25% and you can work out the value for that if you wanted to by just which would be 625 pounds I think if that's right 625 pounds you'd make right now we want to find the standard deviation or the risk as we call it and this is the big a uh, little bit more complicated one which is the upper part minus this expected return all squared times the probability and then we've got the lower part minus the expected return all squared times 0 0.6 which gives us a risk of about 9%. I hope that was useful.